my twist out results my hair just did not look good it didn't look good it was time to cancel because it was getting out of control welcome back to my channel guys and today i'm going to be spilling some tea about my curl box subscription so stick around and stay tuned because this video is long overdue and you won't want to miss this all right guys so basically today's video is all about my experience with curl box why I canceled Curlbox, and what you guys should know about Curlbox before you go ahead and decide to subscribe. And by no means am I saying don't subscribe to Curlbox. I just want you to know what you're getting yourself into when you subscribe to Curlbox. All right, so let me get my notes because I wanna get right into this video. I do not wanna talk about this too long, but I do wanna spill the tea and let you guys know what's up with Curlbox and why I am not subscribed anymore. Guys, and also I do wanna mention my lipstick too. You know, I've been playing in lipstick. I've been playing in makeup. I can't talk. <laughs> I've been playing in makeup. So the lipstick I'm wearing today is actually from Gaia Cosmetics. The lipstick color I have on right now is called Venice, okay? So it's this really nice red matte lipstick and I love how it goes on. It feels really good and it's also pretty easy to take off as well. It's not staining your lips really bad because I hate that to have my lips stained after because it's kind of hard to apply like a lip gloss after that and I just want, you know, my regular lip colors. I guess this could be misconceptions that I had though, my own personal misconceptions. Basically, one of the first reasons why I canceled my subscription with Curlbox is because I had a certain expectation of them that was not met. What I mean by that is I thought that I was going to be getting natural hair products from black owned brands. So I can't tell you where I got that from, but if any of you are thinking like me, that's not the case. Yes, you will get some. I think I had like six curl boxes, I believe, and out of the six, maybe two or three were black owned. I don't remember either way it goes I thought all of them was gonna be black on that's what I thought and I was wrong so that's one of the things I didn't realize so yeah I, I just wanted to try some more black owned natural hair care products now the next thing with me is ingredients now I'm not a natural hair Nazi I'm not an ingredient freak I do stare away from certain ingredients and I do pay attention to the ingredients list am I inspector gadget with the ingredients list no I'm not so you know I'll let some ingredients slide I do a lot of us in the natural hair community don't really like silicones and I did realize a lot of products would have silicones in them and it's like for me I'm not a fan of silicones so yeah the ingredients list I did not really approve of with a lot of products honestly that for me was like I'm, I'm not feeling that because it's different if you know it's like a guilty pleasure type of thing and you use an ingredient that you know may not necessarily be good for you but it may provide I don't know great slip or something it still makes your hair look really good right but that wasn't even the case here because some products I would see the ingredients list and I kind of already know what I'm getting into I know my hair is not gonna like that I use it anyways because I purchased this I paid my money for it and my hair doesn't like it I'm not surprised so that's that on that now this one isn't necessarily bad and not saying I'm just naming things that are bad either some things are kind of like good so I just had some high expectations well, I know I did another reason some boxes were hit or miss some boxes were great and I can name a few of them off the back of my hand let me think the Dr. Miracles one, that was a hit. I liked that one. Afro Sheen, I really liked Afro Sheen's box. And I actually liked Curls Unleashed. I did not do a video on the Curls Unleashed one, but I did like the Curls Unleashed hair products. And there was another one that I didn't do a video for, but that one was a miss. That one was a miss. And I thought it was gonna be a hit because the texture of the products, it was thick. Everything seemed to be so right about the products. Even the presentation, like the conditioner, the style cream was in a pump, and then my twist out results, my hair just did not look good. It was only one product that I didn't really care for out of it. Oh, the shampoo. I hated the shampoo. All in all, it didn't matter because <laughs> my hair looked trash. I can't really remember the name, but I'll put it down below. Some boxes were hit or miss, which that actually was expected. I won't say that's a con because, you know what I'm saying? Your hair's not going to like everything. 
this one really really does hit hard for me because this is one of the most important points that I'm probably gonna say is that I didn't always get bang for my buck I really didn't so it was one box and I did a video on it and I actually did release this video and what was it for dark and lovely and that box was such a disappointment for me I'm sorry <laughs> but it was such a disappointment for me because those hairsprays that hair color spray I think they had that it retailed for seven dollars and I knew that that hairspray was only a dollar at Dollar Tree because I actually had the hairspray in my stash <laughs> I already had this hairspray so it's like y'all yeah, are not gonna tell me that this box is worthy now the other products that came with it now I didn't I didn't add those up I didn't really look at the pricing but I still didn't like the fact that the hair products that was in this box are hair products that is straight from the Dollar Tree uh, I did not like that I didn't like that at all because like I said already my expectations were kind of high with Curlbox so I'm expecting hair products that are luxury higher end natural hair products that's what I was expecting in my Curlbox and I didn't get that it didn't even have to necessarily be luxury or be super costly products even just products that were raved about that were popular like I think Afro Sheen is pretty reasonable in prices it's black owned and it does wonders on my hair that was a great brand right there so the boxes that came after it I'm like why <laughs> why <laughs> They just, it didn't add up to me. Okay, and these next two points that I have are not bad. They're not bad at all, but, you know, they still played a factor in why I had to cancel my Curlbox subscription. So, my product stash is getting out of control. And I probably should have even started with that. My product stash, because of Curlbox, looks crazy. And I'm not upset about it, though, because the point of me getting Curlbox was to get my product stash up a bit. It got my product stash up and quick okay <laughs> it got my product stash up quick products that I use regularly still and products that I don't really touch much which I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing with those products probably just gonna use them till they're done I'm not sure a point I will make as well is that you will get really good size like full-size products now the con about that is you're getting full-size products and if a product doesn't work for you now you have to figure out what to do with this product me I give it two three more chances but if it still doesn't work for me now I just don't know what to do with it and the problem is I'm a order sometimes I don't like throwing stuff away so what I'm gonna do now my product stash was getting way out of control and this year I just want to use up the products that I have Tressis Alexis always say hashtag use your stash all 2021 that's what I want to do for the most part I can't make no promises I might buy a product or two but for the most part, I don't want to buy nothing, nothing, nothing else. I think I got a good product stash. I want to get it down. I need to get it down, okay? Because it's, whew, baby, okay? And I am going to do a product stash video, by the way, guys. Dej and LQ Love. I'm going to drop their channels in the description box below, guys, too, so you can check their channels out. But they suggested that I do a product stash video. So I'm definitely going to try to get that out to you guys, too. So the next point that I'm going to make as to why I canceled my Curlbox subscription is because I was simply just more interested in the non-subscription boxes, like the specialty boxes, you know, when they would feature certain brands. I was more interested in those boxes than the boxes I was actually getting. So the subscription boxes are cool. Every now and again, you get a really good box. But the non-subscription boxes, guys, those are the boxes that I was interested in. The non-subscription boxes, okay? The type of natural hair care products that they have in those non-subscription boxes is exactly what I thought I was going to be getting in my subscription box. The non-subscription box, I've seen brands like Maya Organics, Pattern Beauty, and then some up-and-coming ones that I haven't even heard of before. Like, I think it was called Wakiti. 
something along those lines either way I want to try that brand and I was like why wasn't that in the subscription box and I was like I'm starting to see that it's the non subscription boxes that I actually want to try <sighs> I need to get my product stash down but I will say that I may purchase a non subscription box here or there and then my last reason right here and I don't know if you were aware or not and I hope you made it to the end of this video especially if you are considering curl box so I got the $25 box at the time that's how much it costs so it's $20 and then I believe it was $5 for shipping if I'm wrong there I'll correct myself but to my understanding it was $20 for the box and then $5 for shipping great deal so as of recent they have actually went up on the price of curl box and that's when I was like okay my stash is getting out of control all these other reasons it's time for me to go ahead and make my exit okay so that is what I did I believe the curl box now is at about $30 in total with shipping and everything so yeah if that's something you want to do I think the increase in price actually means the increase in the product quality as well I sure hope so I didn't stick around to see though like I said I unsubscribed you guys use your better judgment you decide what you want to do this video in no way is to bash curlbox or anything like that I still think that curlbox is an amazing natural hair subscription if you are just starting out natural I think it's great for you if you are trying to increase your product stash it's great for you there are so many reasons why curlbox is great for you but there's also multiple reasons why curlbox might not be for you and I hope this video was able to help you guys make your decision if you want to purchase curlbox or not this is why I unsubscribed do me a favor drop down in the comment section below let me know if you have curlbox that is all I have for this video I hope you guys really enjoy please like comment share subscribe all that good stuff guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye